It's finally time to install our new intercooler pipe. Hey guys, before we get started with today's video, I have some really exciting news to share with you. Recently, I unlocked the ability to receive super thanks. What's a super thanks you're asking? Well, it's a way for viewers and subscribers like yourself to be able to give back and show your appreciation. And the more that we get into modifying this car, the more parts and the more mods that we be able to purchase in order to get this car to where we want. I just wanted to throw it out there, guys. If these videos are something that you find valuable, this is a great way for you to show that. Thank you guys, and let's get into this video. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Lou Bar's Garage. I'm your host, Luis. Today, we have one of our very first performance mods, and it's this engine cold air intake that we'll be installing today. So let's see what we got here. Okay, so it comes with our instructions here, and this is part number SP1586. WR. We have coupler and a couple of other accessories here, so we'll put that to the side. Oh, here we go. Oh man, look at this guy. Wow, she is really pretty. There it is in all of its beauty and glory. And here we have our air filter which will connect to the bottom here. One of the things that we're gonna have to do in order to have a successful install today is we're gonna have to remove the front bumper. It's pretty simple, just a couple clips, couple clips on the side, clips on the bottom. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do first, just to get it out of the way, and that way we can start removing the OEM air box and install our new engine cold air intake. So let's get to it. Okay, we'll go ahead and start with the top first. We got a bunch of pop clips here. So I like to use a little small flat head and get those in there and just pop them up just like that and there's two three we got three here so that's five six and then we have we have some that are hidden underneath the weather stripping here so if you pull your weather stripping back like that you can get access to this one right here and you just pop it up and there you go that will release the side piece there so as you can see it's already starting to kind of come off a bit there and we got to come to this side and grab these two over here just like we did over there and that will release that okay we got our phillips here there we go there it is i released that typically there's one more screw right in here that connects both of these and Typically, you gotta pull the lining back. See if I can find it real quick. All right, looks like there's one more Phillips screw that's hiding right there. So let's go ahead and unscrew that. So as you can see, I successfully removed the bumper. There's a bunch of clips that you have to undo underneath the car. I just put my car on the ramps. That way it gave me easier access to get underneath and get all these clips out. The reason why is because I believe it's this inlet right here we're gonna have to remove in order to fixate one of the ones that it came with. We're gonna go ahead and take care of that a little bit later. First and foremost, we're gonna start to undo the OEM air box. I do believe we do have a couple clips here that we have to undo. We have a couple bolts, 10 millimeter, there, there. And then at some point we're gonna have to remove the ECU, kind of move it over and get to that bolt right there to be able to remove this. We also have to remove the airflow sensor and also undo this right here and get that all out. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove these two Phillips screws for the mass airflow sensor. All right, with those two screws undone, we will remove our airflow sensor. Be careful not to damage it. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove two 10 millimeter bolts here and we have one push clip here. There we are. And with that, that should loosen up that part of the intake. And now that we got this loosened up, next thing is we are gonna go down here and there's that 10 millimeter bolt all the way down there that is in between the ECU and the box. And we're gonna use our extender here with our 10 millimeter ratchet. And we're gonna go ahead and unscrew that. And next we're going to unscrew the inlet tube with a Phillips. We 
we got one more 10 millimeter bolt to unscrew right here. Well, now we have a giant gaping hole where the new intake will go. Now we are down here where we removed our front bumper. We are going to loosen up this inlet right here. We're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. Now that we got the clamp taken off, there's three bolts that we need to undo. There's one here. There's one on this side right up here using a 10 millimeter socket. After you remove this bolt on the side here, the third one is going to be right where my finger is. I can't use my socket wrench, so I went ahead and just grabbed a 10 millimeter wrench. Now we have the resonator off and the air box out. We need to go to our kit that came with the intake, the engine intake. And let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna grab this cap right here and this clamp, and we are going to cap that off. We wouldn't capped off where that inverter used to be. There it is, looks good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to where the ECU is, and we're gonna remove that 10 millimeter bolt. So that way we can swivel this ECU over towards the fuse box so we can make room for the engine tube. Okay, now that we got that 10 millimeter bolt out of there, we're gonna swivel this over to the fuse box, but it looks like we might have to loosen this one up as well as giving us a bit of resistance. Let's just go ahead and loosen that one up real quick and see what it does. It did give us a little bit of wiggle room. Next, we're gonna take our vibra mount that came with our engine kit, and we're going to thread the threaded side onto the chassis of the car. There's the hole right there in conjunction to the ECU, just right there. Before we screw it in, guys, I'm just gonna add a dab of Loctite, just to make sure it doesn't come undone. Perfect. Next, we're gonna install this stepping hump here into the inlet right there. Next, we're gonna come back down to where we remove the intercooler resonator and our kit came with some rubber. And this, we're gonna put on the chassis here. And the sole reason for this is to protect the new intake tube from rubbing up against the metal. <laughs> now comes the fun part. It's finally time to install our new intercooler pipe. All right, now that we got the intake inlet all secure up here, we're gonna secure it. All right, she is secure. After we got the inlet secured, we're going to mount the ECU back to where it was. And don't forget to tighten your back bolt here. Now it's time to reinstall our mass airflow sensor and we're gonna use the OEM screws that we took off earlier, the Phillips, with one at a time. You wanna be careful not to strip the holes cause that could be a huge pain in the butt. So just take your time, be gentle with it, make sure not to strip anything. 
Perfect. And last thing that we'll be doing is we'll be installing our air filter at the end of this tube down under. So let's go down there. And it does come with the provided clamp. So we'll set that aside. And this is our air filter. There is the final product. We went ahead and clamped it down there. Make sure it's nice and snug. And there it is. Looks pretty darn cool. Now it did say that it was probably gonna be bulging here on the wheel well. But as I can see, I don't see any bulging. So that's a good sign. And there is the finished product. Wow. Gives the engine bay a nice little facelift. Gives it a little color to pop as well. Like the battery cover there, that looks pretty cool. I did find it strange that usually these don't come with covers and I know that you can buy them separately. So I think down the road, I might wanna buy a cover for that. That way it doesn't look kinda open, exposed and kinda ghetto. So there you have it guys, that is the install. So let's go ahead and turn the car on and get some sound clips and see what this thing sounds like. That's a wrap for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found this video informational and valuable, you can always show that by giving a super thanks. And by giving a super thanks, we'll be able to get even more mods quicker, sooner, and get this content out to you guys. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps this channel grow even that much more. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We'll see you then, or we'll see you another time.